Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Welcome back to Just Carve Rob. <clears throat> Guys, got a little bit of a frog in my throat. Okay. Oh, happy Easter to everybody that celebrates Easter. Um, it's a hard Easter this year, guys, not having uh, your family around, being quarantined as it, as it is. Here in Michigan, the governor has put out a directive saying no gathering. Penalty, $1,000. If you get caught gathering. So, what are you going to do? I don't got a thousand bucks. So, no Easter at mom's. But, we did get a ham and stuff. So, we will have Easter dinner here. Alright. Anyway. To the brighter side of things today. This is our cane. We have roughed out our leaves. With our SCM high speed tool. Okay, so that's where we are so far, guys. And uh, we still have to rough out the pheasant. We still have to rough out the bear. But I figured we'd go ahead and clean up some of this stuff before we get to the bear and the pheasant. All right. So we are going to clean it up. And guess what we're using? That's right. Cuts all extreme. It's like my first time using this thing. Usually I use the saber tooth burr, but um saber tooth is getting wore out and I mean it still cuts, still cuts all right. But uh let me show you. Oh, what did I do with it? Is it in the other Dremel? Yep, okay, it's over here. Show you the difference here. Okay. This is the cut saw or uh, the uh saber tooth this is the cut saw you can see the difference this is longer and a little skinnier and this is shorter and fatter okay so um we're gonna go with the short and fat because of the room we have here we don't have too much room okay so we're gonna try see what this does okay so get ready for the noise well i'll get ready for the noise you get ready for the voiceover okay Hang on. Here we go. Okay, guys. Here we go with this Cuts All Extreme Burr. We are feathering everything back. Just like you do with a wood spirit. You want to feather it all back. Uh, in this situation, we're trying to get everything at the same level. Okay? So, we're basically removing all the background wood. And uh, this cuts all extreme bit seems to be working pretty good for this. We've sped it up a little bit. And uh, we're just feathering everything out. You got to stay away from your leaves and stuff, guys. And the last thing you want to do is get your cuts all extreme bit tangled up in your nuts. It will destroy them. So, uh... Yeah, stay away from your nuts with that extreme bit. Because it will it'll rip them right off quicker than you could say ouch. And it works really well um, for getting that background wood down. Like I said, don't get too close because... And you really got to pay attention to the back side of that, that cutter. Like when you're going in between stuff. Because if you touch anything with that cutter. Like a leaf across the way or something like that. You're going to take a chunk right out of it. And uh, those nuts are so small. That if you bump it with that extreme bit. You might as well just go ahead and finish cutting it off with it. Because it's going to be damaged beyond repair. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with this cuts all extreme bit, guys. 
Uh, Jordy, Jordy over there, Carbon Fusion, swears by them. And I could see where they'd be great for bigger wood spirits and stuff, but um, it's really surprising me how good I can get in between stuff with it because it's, it's really, um, really not that pointy, I guess, at the end. But uh, it's pointy enough to get in between everything that we've carved here. And you just got to be careful with it, you know. You can see I'm not laying it flat. I'm using mostly the nose of it. And I'm, I use, I'm using a super light touch with this, guys. Okay. I am not bearing down on this at all. Uh, does quite well just letting it do its thing and uh, giving it, you know, you got to guide it, keep keep a firm grip on your your handpiece, but you know, you got to really pay attention to the, where the rest of that burr is. I know we all like, you, you get going and you're concentrating on where you're cutting, but you got to kind of broaden your horizons. Uh, don't get tunnel vision. Start getting tunnel vision, you know, where all you're doing is focusing on the end of that bit. Uh, take a break. Have a cup of coffee. Uh, smoke them if you got them, I guess. But, uh, yeah, the the cuts all bit is very aggressive. Okay. Here I zoomed this in for you guys, and now I'm out of frame. I didn't realize I was working that high up on the stick. Okay, so we're just feathering it out. See how I'm staying away from the points on the leaves? Uh, we'll come back in with a small diamond burr, and we'll get inside of all that stuff uh, to clean it up. So we just want to... We're getting as close as we can with that burr, but we're trying to stay away from it. Stay away from uh, the stuff. You'll see there's still a shadow around most of this stuff after we get done cleaning it up. And uh, that's because I want to keep these li the lines for the leaves and everything nice and crisp. Uh, don't want to accidentally round them over or what whatever. And there's no way we're getting down in inside the inside of these leaves with this thing. No way. It's not going to happen. It's just too big. But you can see how quickly... This thing just, it's not, it's not a pass. You don't got to keep going over and over it. One pass and uh, it's pretty well got it shaped. I can see why Jordy loves these bits so much. But yeah, it's, it's uh, they're, they're brutal. They really remove the wood. So we got to come in with our uh, SCM tool and uh, clean up our, you know, get our bear dug out and get our pheasant dug out. Um, I'm not using my low speed air tool. And the reason why I'm not using my low speed air tool is it locked up on me. Yep. I broke it. It's broke. It's no good. I took it apart. Uh, the gears inside, one of the gears inside shattered. And so it is Kaputsky. Which is, you know, it, it's, uh, I'm thinking it's like maybe five or between five and eight years old. And it's had quite a bit of time put on it. Um, probably my fault. I didn't oil it enough or something. Like the S, the SCM tool, I know uh, you got to put two drops of oil in it just about every hour that you use it. So that tool being what it is, my favorite little beaver, I uh, actually set the timer on my uh, watch. And at an hour, my watch will beep and I stop and put more oil in it. You know, you just put two drops of oil in the air hose. It's high-speed spindle oil. Same thing. Uh, it's the same thing that a CNC lathe uses. So you got to make sure you keep your your high-speed spindle oil uh, in it. Plus, it I uh, um, from what I understand from the manufacturer, it cleans the bearings. 
as the oil goes through the through the turbine it cleans the bearings i guess um so yeah that's we make sure we keep that baby lubed up all the time but you can see this cuts all bit is doing phenomenal like i said though just make sure you stay away from your your finish lines and come back with a diamond burr or something you can get pretty close, but you can see right there we we got it mostly done the, as far as roughing it down, getting the background taken down. And we got our depth set where we want it. So um, to get inside of those leaves, we're going to have to go with a diamond burr inside there and clean all that up. All right. And there's the diamond burr we're going to use, guys, right there. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like it's a little flat disc. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Inverted cone with a plate? I have no idea what to call it. But uh, we're going to get into those little areas there, and we're going to get them cleaned up. I don't know what I'm doing right now. There we go. Must have been turning the vacuum back on. All right, so... You can see we're going to get right down in there into the nitty gritty. Uh, there's still some spots that even that small little disc can't get into. So we're going to have to get a, a little tiny straight burr diamond with a flat end on it to get inside of some of these little crevices that even this small of a disc can't get into. So that's giving you some, some idea of how small it is. But you can see this little disc guy here. He's doing a great job cleaning this up. I'm running this at about half speed, guys, on your Dremel dial. I think mine goes up to 35, so I'm running it at about 15. Um, the problem, if you run your diamonds at full speed, you'll end up plugging them up so bad that they, uh, they won't cut. They'll just burn. And that's the other part. When you're running that fast with them, 35,000 RPMs, you'll end up burning your wood too. So I found through messing around with them that right around that uh, 15,000 to 20,000 mark, 20,000 RPMs is where you want to be. So about halfway on your Dremel dial. Uh, might take you just a little bit longer, um, but I enjoy the process. So a little bit longer don't bother me. But it might take you just a little bit longer, but you'll have a lot more control, a lot more depth control over your Dremel by doing it that way. Uh, well, not, yeah, your Dremel and the depth, the, uh, the amount of material this little diamond guy's taking off here. So I went pretty deep with the SCM. So basically we're just going in and flattening all the scratch marks from the, that little tiny carbide burr from the SCM. We're just flattening all that out. Uh, you can buy the little diamond burrs for the SCM with the flat ends on them too. I just don't have any. So um, that's why I'm using the Dremel. So yeah, it's it's fun. I, I like doing this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, where else to go with it? I mean... Uh, this is how you do it, guys. If you're interested in, in stuff like this, um, you can do this. Everything that I've done here, you can do with a Dremel. And the, the smaller... Uh, the real small bits for the Dremel, the, the real small carbides, uh, the good ones anyway, I found most of the time you got to give them in 330 seconds and you're not going to find them on uh ebay or amazon they really don't have either one of them places really does not have a big selection of the 330 second shafts so uh i've been buying them from a place called treeline usa or um mountaincarvers.com mountainwoodcarvers.com they have them um i'm sure there's a lot of other places that have them too but the uh, tree line place is where I get get them, and the mountain wood carvers place. Uh, I found out that they're 
their quality is a lot better for the the burrs uh, at carbides. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you can buy them wherever you want, and I'm not affiliated with either one of those places. So I pay the same price you guys pay. And they're like uh, eight bucks for those little burrs, between eight and eleven dollars. But I'll tell you, they last a really long time. So that's up to you. And uh, yeah, the three thirty second burrs will will cut right through this stuff too. And they've they've got them right down to very very small. So and I do have some of them for the with the three thirty seconds collar. I was using them in my low speed air tool, but it went. It finally crapped out on me, guys. So you can see we're cleaning it up here. Dremel and that little tiny diamond is doing a superb job. And we'll just have to change. There's some st still some spots there that, that we got to clean up. You can see down inside them leaves, like where I'm working right now. I can't get way down in there with this burr. So I'll have to change up to a uh, smaller... I still want a flat-ended burr, but they I've got them right down to uh, like a 30-second wide, which is pretty doggone small. So, uh, yeah, I'll go back and clean all that stuff up. In our next video, we will be taking the SCM and roughing out our bear and roughing out our pheasant, and then we'll be coming back in with the... Uh, Probably the cuts all bit again and feathering all that away. And then the spots that we can't get in with the cuts all, we'll be using this little guy again or another diamond. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Other than, uh, you see what I'm doing? I'm just cleaning things up with that little diamond. Um, I call it housekeeping because you're just cleaning up everything. And that would air you don't got a bunch of cleanup at the end. You know what I'm saying? So you can see the marks left from the cut saw. So we're going to have to come back in and clean that stuff up. And, and we'll do all that with a diamond. But it really doesn't matter because we're going to come back and destroy all that anyway. There's another view of that little diamond burr again. Okay. So, guys, have a happy Easter, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Share, subscribe, and like. And this is Jess Carr Rob saying, Jess Carr, be awesome, carve something awesome, and we will catch you later. Bye.